Hello guys, good evening and welcome to another episode of Answered Prayer. And this is a story of a woman named Faith. And si Faith meron siyang asawa at mga anak. So several years ago, Faith suspected na yung kanyang husband was sexually abusing um, her two young daughters. Uh, during those times, walang eyewitness. However, uh, may mga evidences na na proof na ganon nga yung nangyayari. So she separated from her husband to protect her children, and she was raising her children alone. So no nangyari yon. Her husband um, tinigil yung financial support sa kanya at sa mga anak niya. At nagkataon na yung kanyang trabaho, it wasn't paying really well to support her and her children. And during that time, Faith claimed the verse from Isaiah chapter 54 verse 5 which says, For your maker is your husband. That actually became her special verse. And she begged the Lord to walk beside her during those times and be her husband and she went through a very difficult time and one day um the grocery siya in paglabas niya sa grocery all she had was a bag of potatoes para ipakain sa mga anak niya a family of five but then, during those times, she can feel the presence of the Lord na sinasamahan siya. And when she leaned on Him for help, He was always there. And it seems that He was supplying all her needs, her family's needs, every day. And every time that she thought of it. And there was a time na naisip niya, um, wouldn't be nice kung magkaroon ako ng parang maliit na gate, parang baby gate doon sa hagdan namin. So, I wouldn't have to look after yung baby every second. So, para meron pa akong magawang ibang bagay bukod sa bantayan siya. And the next day, that gate appeared. So, nagkaroon siya ng child gate. And there was also a time that she thought of Sana ma-afford kung makabili ng bagong damit. And surely, few days after, her friend gave her some old clothes from Nordstrom. Nordstrom is one of the expensive department stores in the U.S. And she was able to actually get clothes. Hindi man siya bago, but they were decent. And another time, her brother um, said to her, Siguro oras na napalitan mo na yung mga kutsara at tinudor mo kasi hindi na talaga sila maganda. And she thought, yeah, I think it would really be nice kung magkakaroon ako ng bagong silverware. But she couldn't afford it. And suddenly, night came and one of her neighbors sent her a 12-piece silverware. Hindi ito yung um, ordinary na um, tinador at kachara, but it is a silverware inside a wooden box. And it is really good. It is more than what she actually asked for. And faith. She continues to believe in God and she believes that God is walking with her during those times with arms around her. And God became her husband, anticipating all her needs, supplying all her needs because he loved her. So let me close this um, video with a verse from Isaiah chapter 54 verse 5 for your maker is your husband the lord almighty is his name
napaka-comforting ng verse na to, especially to those who uh, have lost their husband, yung mga uh, significant other nila dun sa mga single parent na nahihirapan uh, sa mga panahon na buhay, uh, kailangan nilang buhayin yung pamilya nila at wala silang support ang nakupuha. Napaka-comforting kasi alam natin na God will always be there for us. He is ready to provide everything for us. And this also goes doon sa mga taong single na sa mga walang jowa. No? Na nalulungkot kasi wala, wala pa silang jowa dumadating sa buhay nila. But fret not because um, God is always there and God can definitely give you all the love that you need while He is actually preparing you uh, to be in a meaningful um, relationship. So, habang nagaantay ka, why not turn to God and ask Him you know, to be that person sa buhay mo, to be that um, significant other muna sa buhay mo habang nagaantay ka no, sa kung sino ang ibibigay sa iyo ng Lord. And why not have a good relationship with God? Because surely, He will always be there, He will never leave you, and He will provide everything that you need. So stay blessed, stay safe, and have a good night.